Hello, Joe from Exhibition News here. Here's your weekly news roundup. The co-founders of Madfest have sold the London-based B2B marketing and advertising festival to the Ingenuity Group for an undisclosed sum. Madfest, which took place last week at the Old Truman Brewery, will also now debut in Manchester during February next year. Dan Brain, Madfest co-founder, said the event had several approaches over the years, but Ingenuity's drive to create something different stood out. XL London's Head of Business Development, Jane Haig, is leaving the venue after almost 13 years in the role to join hospitality company Convene. In her new role, Haig will manage a team of 32 people in London, Manchester and Birmingham, responsible for selling it across a portfolio of meetings and office spaces, which includes etc. venues. Those who fail to give solid proof of efforts to reduce emissions every two years will have their names removed from the Net Zero Carbon Event Signatories list. This was confirmed by Alexandra Alice, Executive Director of the JMIC, which hosts the scheme. The scheme has seen many of its sign-ups already report on the progress, with most having implemented positive steps towards sustainable events. However, this latest development adds more responsibility to event profs to commit their pledges on climate action. Martin Fullard, Director of the Business of Events, has looked at how the new Labour government can work with the events industry to achieve its own policy objectives. The political shift will hopefully usher in a new era of optimism and ambition, not just for the nation as a whole, but also for the UK's events industry, Fullard said. Finally, to commemorate 50 years since the introduction of the Health and Safety at Work Act, Josh Taylor, Health and Safety Manager at ESSA, reflects on the positive changes to the exhibitions industry since its inception. But also, what still needs to happen? That's all for this week. Stay tuned for more next time and click the links below to find out more.